Flight to Ponape is called the Island Hopper because it stops at several islands along the way down to Ponape. The first of these is Majuro, and it's wonderful to look out the window and see these spectacular coral reefs which are typical of the Marshall Islands. And then when we land, we can get out and we can walk around and stretch our legs in the transit area and it's nice, a nice break from sitting on an airplane all day long. How does it feel to be in Majuro? <laughs> After about a half hour or 45 minutes of standing around in the transit area, they herd us back onto the plane and get back in our seats and buckle up and get ready for takeoff. But the takeoffs and the landings are actually the best part of these island hopping trips because that's when you get the best views of the coral reefs around these islands and they're just stunning to look at. I mean, Micronesia has incredibly calm seas and clear water. And from above in an airplane, you can look down and just see these really, really, really spectacular coral reefs. It really makes you want to get out of the plane and get back down there and get underwater. The next stop is Kwajalein, but we can't get off the plane at Kwajalein because it's a military base and has restricted access. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. United, your entire in-flight crew would like to welcome you to Kwajalein. But Brian Green actually grew up at Kwajalein, which is a pretty amazing experience. Yeah, so I spent the first 18 years of my life at Kwajalein. It's always weird when we fly to Pontepe to land at Kwajalein and not be able to get off the plane and ride my bike to my house, which is only a half a mile from the airport. So here we're landing in Kosrai, and I always love the island hopper. I'm able to see all these wonderful islets. Um, coming from England, we didn't used to dream about things like this. I really, really want to jump into the ocean and see what everything's like. But also it's a little bit cruel because you can see all these gorgeous green forests and that you can't go into them. So you can just look at them. Um, it's just generally really, really beautiful. And then we also get to sample in the little shop in the airport some of the crazy local foods, which are, you know, it's a bit of a lottery, but it's always a lot of fun. Now here we are arriving in Ponape. It's absolutely lush, green and beautiful. And here we get to see our research. Mm -hmm. 